Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, in my quest to become more Dutch, uh, I'm going to be baking the most popular pie in the Netherlands, and that is a Dutch apple pie. So if that sounds good to you, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes, and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. So you guys, I'm not gonna be doing too much talking in this video, but here's the deal. I recently posted a vlog of my family going apple picking, and I was mentioning in that vlog that I have way too many apples and don't know what to do with them. And so many of you said, apple pie, apple pie, apple pie, can't wait for the apple pie video, bake an apple pie, Yovi, Yovi, you have to make the Dutch apple pie. So yes, I will do that for you guys today. I'm gonna try to bake an apple pie. When I decided that I was gonna do this, I thought, oh, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna buy the dough and I'm gonna buy the stuff and I'm just gonna assemble it because that's the only kind of pie baking I've ever done. But all the recipes are to make your own dough. So this is a challenge for me. This is something I've never done. And I'm following a recipe in Dutch. This recipe is from the Albert Hein Allerhande recipes, whatever, like on the website. And this is just the traditional apple pie, not Oma's apple pie. Oma's apple pie is like another level of complexity, so I'm not there yet. Let's start with the basics and we're gonna get to the apple pie. So if that, did I already say, if that sounds good to you? I think I did. But anyway, in case I didn't, if that sounds good to you, why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. I'm pretty sure I said that. Did I say that? All right, you guys, so here is everything that you're gonna need to make a Dutch apple, Ooh! to make a Dutch apple pie. I will uh, talk about the ingredients as we add them. But that's it, this is all you need to make a homemade from scratch apple pie. So let's do it. Okay, so as you've seen, I prepped the dough. <laughs> the butter thing was funny. Um, but anyway, I prepped the dough, that's now in the fridge. I cut up the apples, here they are, and I poured lemon juice on them only because that's not part of the recipe, but I did it because I actually have to go pick up my son from school. So instead of waiting for these apples to turn brown, I put a bit of lemon juice on them, used up that lemon that we zested earlier, so that's okay. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and then when we come back, then I'm gonna be uh, finishing up this apple tart.
Okay, so as you guys saw, I had a little bit of trouble with the rolling pin. It was my first time trying to use it, first time working with dough. It is sticky, that is really difficult to use. So, what I ended up doing for the top, instead of the little stripes, the little stripey things, uh, I just ended up cutting out circles and arranging them in this kind of fashion. Um, I watched a tutorial, because with, with the recipe that I'm using, there's like a little video link at the bottom. So he was also using cutout shapes if you didn't want to do the, the strips, the stripes, which I was not able to do. So we're gonna put this in the oven and see how it turns out. Uh, my baby is crying a lot. So I'm not sure if you're gonna see me again like this for the tasting or if it's gonna be tomorrow morning, but yeah, it is what it is. This is, this is happening. So it's going in the oven. I love how much apple is actually in it, that it's eight apples inside, so it's like, actually, it's, I feel like that's a really healthy dessert. So anyway, going in the oven now, wish me luck, and I will see you in a bit. You guys, I freaking did it. I cannot believe that I made that. Neither can Luna, no one, no one can believe it. The thing is, I did not know that when you guys make Dutch apple pie, you even make the freaking crust from scratch. I've never made that before. I've never used a rolling pin before, <laughs> as I'm sure many of you were shouting at your computers when I was like trying to use it. But yeah, oh. If I look different, here's what happened. Uh, yesterday was a disaster of a day. I made the apple pie, I finished making it, and then I saw in the instructions that actually it's better to let your whole apple pie just like cool without opening the springform pan for like a long, long time because that's gonna make sure that the crust actually keeps the apple pie uh, in it since there's so much apples in here. So that's what I decided to do, just not to try to film a video at midnight of me just tasting it and that I would just do that today. So here we go. I made my little baki, a little coffee, a little apple pie. I'm so excited, but I'm so proud also of, I cannot believe this achievement. So I haven't tasted it. Maybe it tastes horrible. Maybe it's not quite an achievement, but let's try. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at those cinnamony apples. Can you see? Mm. And that crust. Oh, get in my mouth. Sorry, no more talking. Now just chewing. Enjoy these ASMR sounds of Yovi chewing. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my god. Mm. This might be the best pie I've ever made in my life. Mm. So good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So wait, let me have a sip. Mm. So here's the thing. What I haven't liked about Dutch apple pies that I've had in the past, I don't like raisins. I don't like when the pies are full of raisins. 
So I'm glad that in this uh, Albert Heim recipe, it didn't call for raisins. And even if it had, I probably wouldn't have put them in. But this is so, 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 so good. I love it. That um, almond paste, is that what it's called? The, the, yeah, the almond paste at the end that soaks up the juice of the apples to make sure that the crust stays nice and crisp is so good. It gives so much flavor. And the lemon, oh my gosh, no, you guys, honestly, like I, I'm so sad that I didn't bake this when my mom is here. She's not going to even believe that I did this. Good thing we have video evidence, mom. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Thank you guys for encouraging me to make this. Thank you for challenging me to make this. Um, I definitely need some improvement in my skills of working with dough and with the rolling pin and stuff, but I can see why this is like such a famous thing all over the world because holy it's good. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, Dan, that you're going to be editing this and I'm not here to see it. Maybe I bring you a slice today. Would that be nice if I just bring you a little slice on my way to pick up my kids from my kid from school? I know where you live. <laughs> Maybe I bring you a little piece so it's, so it's not too terrible for you. So good. So, so good. Mm. Thumbs up to me. From me to me. Thumbs up. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you for watching me bake a Dutch apple pie. Leave me your comments below how I can improve my technique. And by the way, Dutch people who actually make this, like regularly, you guys are incredible. This is hard work. This is like an effort. Um, but it was amazing and it's worth it. But you guys, I'm even more impressed by the commitment that you guys have to your apple pies. So thank you. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for watching me uh, try. And um, I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Bye. I'm going to enjoy my apple pie. I'm going to enjoy my apple tart. Because Dan gave me a microphone. So what am I going to do but sing, sing, sing from now on? Mm, 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 mm. Bye.